Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hello. Hi, I am opening the Zoom room. I've never seen a gamble's quail off the ground or on the ground. But today's bird is not this. <laughs> hi. Um, yeah, today's bird is not this. Today's bird is this other bird. And I have to do this really quickly because um, I can only draw a 15 minute bird a day. And uh, yeah, you're, you're watching. Um, I, you know, I'm thinking about um, the public life. You know, let's talk about the public life. Because um, going live every day is an exposure. And I can't find my own link to my own Zoom room, which is <laughs> there's a picture of me with my tongue out. Um, OK, yay, I'm in the Zoom room. And so can you be. And the link, which is really hard to find, is in my Instagram bio. Yeah, Instagram bio, and you can join the Zoom if you love to do so, which I would love for you to do so. And Zan would love to do so because Zan is here doing so. Let's see, OBS virtual camera is quit or something? No, hi, hi, hi. Uh, I'm sorting out my setup now because I just jumped on the live stream, like, like a real live stream jumper. How are you? So far, so good. How about you? Uh, I am experiencing all kinds of things. <laughs> uh, you know, we're blessed with difficulty in this life. I'm getting the reference, and then I'm going to put it on the screen. Oh, I have to go back to Jamie. to see how everybody is. Kevin and Dylan are in the chat. We are drawing, today we're drawing Kevin's quail. Hi, Roni. Um, Kevin has a gamble quail, and Kevin is my friend from the YouTube uh, support. Oh, my God, I don't fucking believe it. Um, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm live. It's not a good time to message me when I'm trying to, like, uh, sort out my live stream like like it's okay if you want to mess with me up until like five minutes before the live stream or five minutes before the very best show on the world which is drawn together but while i'm on the live stream it's probably not a good time to try to like show the world i'm crazy because you know what i can get ahead of that right now i'm fucking insane like I'm weird. Like anybody, you know, like this is like some kind of damage control or something. I'm not sure. But like, it's just, you know, make it uh, talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to send this quail to my, uh, to my desktop so that I can share it. Receiving off. Okay. Airdrop. What a cool thing. Yes. Do not disturb mode is great. And I have it on the phone and I forgot to put it on this thing because I had to get the reference and then I had the Wi-Fi off and then it was like this whole thing. But here comes the reference straight to the screen. How are we enjoying our month of birds and what are we learning? Do you guys hear that? I love that yeah. sound. Oh, airplane mode back on. Yay, trying to get into Zoom. Cool. I will let you into Zoom. Hello. <gasps> hey, Dylan. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't see Shannon. Okay. Well, luckily, uh, you don't have to. <laughs> Are we having fun on the live stream? Is this a fun live stream so far? Here, look at this reference. Boom, look at that. Ah, it's amazing. Did it. Love me some quail. <sighs> That'll be a, an awesome sound bite. Oh, hey, it's my cool drawing. Of, uh, I had fun learning how to 
uh, used markers last night. Oh, you did such a nice job with that. Thank you. It was really fun. It was really satisfying. And it really boosted oh my, my gosh, spirit. That was so good. I had a really exciting... Um, thank you. I'm starting a new page on the birds. I'm giving up having like a bird collage. But... Uh, yeah, I had a really cool night last night. Um, my, we're going, well, okay. So like my son is a personal trainer, right? And he's going in for certification. We were talking about that and I was like, okay, this is great. And then we were talking about how cool it would be to, um, both of us get certifications at the same time. And then like, that was all decided. That was like such a great, um, like a great, like trajectory, especially like for the winter, like it's cold and I get, you know, it's dark and like, what do you got to do inside? And I don't want to be inside. And I thought that would be a good thing to do inside, like work on certification. Let me make this smaller so you can see my drawing. Um, yeah. And then I sat down to draw. And after I had that, like, that idea, like that, uh, you know, like a plan, like something to look forward to, I sat down and draw and I was like, had a good time drawing. Isn't that cool? That is awesome. Very cool. So to be a personal trainer, that's the certification we're talking about for you as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? And there's like, yeah, cool. there's that uh, personal training certificate that you can get from the National um, Association of Sports Medicine. Uh, but they also have a wellness coach training and certification. It seemed like a lot of stuff I could really use mm -hmm. to learn about. And it had it reminded me of what you're talking about, um, teaching teachers to teach as Kira does. Yeah. About like what we bring to um, oh to a a situation like our own um, what do you call it? Our own biases and our own things. I thought that was an interesting part of the course. Looking forward to. Is that, do you imagine that also tying in with the, the other coaching ideas that have been <laughs> uh, floating around? You mean the, uh, the satirical ones? <laughs> well, I, I don't know how satirical anything is. I know, me neither. So, um, <laughs> and, and when we had that talk with Mark Sheff, it was like, oh yeah, this is like, you know, this is it's like a coaching group. Uh, our drawn together show it's just uh just where we hang out and talk through things and mm. so on satirical or not oh wow it is so good to hear your voice <laughs> uh, uh, it's, uh, it's nice to, to be here mm, thank you all for being here um what's interesting is that uh like the way to which you come to stuff unexpectedly in a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or like, you don't know what part of it's serious. Like I had all those advertisements for, um, 10 X your coaching business and you can have this funnel of coaching and you can be a super life coach. I was like, why am I getting these things? Because like, <laughs> I'm not. And then advertising I advertising for your future. So <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. It was just like out of the blue and uh, oh, shaking all over so I can't, drawing is interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I joked around about it and then it was like people had serious questions that I actually have serious answers to that aren't, you know, then I, I use the word serious and and joking like in a serious yet very joking way. It's a strange confluence of existence. Hmm. How are you feeling, Don? Mm, uh, much better. Uh, um, yeah, it's it's been a journey of uh, uh, of of things, 
lying around, frequent toilet visits. Oh. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to be here. Uh, like I, I look forward to, to getting back to things. It's, it's like being a, a standby. I, I've been set to standby for, for a while now. Mm. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Which is interesting. That idea of being a, a patient, you know, you have to be patient. Uh -huh. Yeah, have patience as a patient. Yeah. This is a stylish bird. It's cool. I know. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your quail with us, Kevin. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. Everybody follow. Uh, I put your Instagram on the screen there, Kevin, so everybody has to tag you. I was thinking since we're doing bunk shots uh, in 17 short minutes, um, that I would do an eagle because it rhymes with legal and then I could make legal eagle jokes, but then I saw this quail looking fashionable. <laughs> and that's also appropriate because we're drawing such fashionable criminals later. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really curious how, it, how the live stream will be because it's, it's the fourth time. And, um, and I feel like I have a different relationship to these alleged criminals <laughs> than, than the first time where it was like a lot of um, just kind of, yeah, I don't know. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how it's, uh, it differs from the previous mugshot live streams. It's been interesting um, listening to some 1920s uh, podcasts and and thinking about the 20s as a period of transition. And there was a, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff that happened in that time frame. Also, um, like after World War One, and um, then there was like technological and medical innovation and, and all sorts of things were happening. And there was this, uh, it's kind of post-war wild time, which then didn't last as long, but um, left a big impact on the, the time that then followed. And I'm, I'm totally getting the vibe that this bird is dressed up to go to a party <laughs> in, in, in the roaring 20s. <laughs> it's really perfect for that. A wild night. And his little thing is going to do this. After the gym. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, sitting up in this tree just waiting for the sun to set and waiting for the night to begin. It needs like a Are long me? pearl necklace or something. Yeah, that's totally, it's already dressed to the nines. <laughs> I'm playing with some pigeons. Where I used to live in California, we had lots of um, California quail, and I just loved them. They always look so goofy, <laughs> running along, leading with their little feather. <laughs> it's just hilarious. They're like little cartoons. They're so funny. I miss those guys. I was in California. Yeah. I did a, a really detailed painting of one for a um, product design company I was working with for a while, but some advertising stuff, and it was the funnest project. <laughs> All these little baby quails, and mm -hmm. it was fun. Stop blowing really big up on a big piece of canvas. That was the trip.
you can you can get quail eggs at the um, market and the organic supermarket here. These tiny little ornate beautiful eggs. Wow. I had little pet quails when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, we would take those little eggs to the, my mom was a school teacher and so was my grandmother. And I remember we went to my grandmother's elementary school class and brought quails and little quail eggs and they look like little speckly soccer balls kind of. Mm. And I used to fry them in a little tiny pan when I was little. It was like the first thing I learned how to cook were quail eggs. I never mm -hmm. thought about this until just now. Uh, and I would have, I cannot draw. And I would have um, these little teeny tiny eggs and I had this little teeny tiny egg pan. It was the first thing I ever learned how to cook and my mom taught me how to make scrambled eggs in this little egg pan. I thought they were gonna say you would, you took them to school and they raised, they hatched them and raised them and then you're like, and then I ate them. <laughs> Uh, well, I wasn't going to go that far, Zan, because mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't think I ate any quail or not that I knew about. We ate um, eggs. the eggs and my pet goat, which is very disturbing, something from October for you. You ate it in October. Oh, boy. I looked out the window of my kitchen. I'm like six years old. And there's a, this is a horrifying story, but um, I look out the kitchen window and it's cold and the lights, there's car headlights shining on the tree and they've put up my swing that I used to swing on that, you know, my brother and my dad made me or something. And they swung it up over the branch and then in its place where the swing used to be was a goat <laughs> and like mm -hmm. it was foggy and the exhaust from the cars, it, like I guess something was catching in the light and then like I'm looking outside and I, I see this goat that I had since he was a baby oh, and uh, he was, you know, actually, yeah, well, anyway, um, the provenance of the goat is a whole nother story, but, um, but I look out and there's a goat in the lights in the October and then my uncle busts through the kitchen door and plops its rib cage down on the table. <laughs> And I'm like six or five or something. Oh, I'm so involved. I mean, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a way, but it's the thing that was happening. It's what we ate. <laughs> you know, it's like. And you were, did they tell you this was the where the what was going to happen to the goat at the time? So you were at least conceptually prepared. Uh, I think that like. There's a matter of factness uh -huh. of life, of living like on a farm. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, like, that's how you get conceptually prepared as it happens. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you eat. And then it's yeah. like. You absorb that knowledge. Yeah. Like, physically. <laughs> Like, uh, I can't imagine, like, parenting, like, we know it now happening, like, at that time. It's like, yeah, you want to eat, right? <laughs> or like, like, somebody coming in and saying, you know, like, what would they even say? I want you to be ready. I want you to go, like, let's protect our children from this very real sight of survival. Like that's not, it's a different, uh, different type of living. Yeah, I think it's, um, if it's, it's just fine to, I don't know if there was any kind of talk, talking and processing about it in, in you know kind of description of uh, seeing that happened, but I think it's you know things happen and it, it's it's okay for it to be disturbing and also just that's yeah. that's part of how things are. Yeah.
Per mm -hmm. being, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we keep being protected from life. The idea of protecting children from life and death. I think that's where we get a lot of neuroses. Yeah. Yeah, we um, we don't we don't shy away from talking about death. Um, fortunately, our children have not had to experience much of it so far. Um, but yeah, being able to just be with that. When I became a vegetarian, I was sixteen years old, and working at a farm camp, and. I'm, I'm gonna have to take off. Yeah, so, so, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll see you. I'll see you over on Dylan Sarah's Dylan Sarah's channel at two thirty, seven minutes from yeah. now. Yeah, we, we can keep talking in yeah, seven yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> About fashion. Thank okay. you, Bye, Dylan. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Go along and thanks for the coil. Bye. Bye. Oh, Maria Luisa has come to take Dylan's spot on the Zoom screen. Hi, Maria Luisa. Hello. Hi, Maria Luisa. Hello. 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 Think it's by dear. Hello. Hello. Now, now it was working. I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry. It's so tricky. I just saw your message come in and it was tricky to get in. We have to drop ah. we have to drop quick so we can go draw on Dylan's channel. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the priorities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to Dylan's live stream and unfortunately had to get postponed and everything and now it's the big day. The big yeah. day of social social drawing time. How are things in in Maria Luisa town? Uh, I was I was in Linz today. Ooh. Uh, this is the capital town of Upper Austria. And compared to the last days, it was very warm. It had twenty five degrees. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hot wind. That sounds beautiful. And, yeah, but the last last week we had uh, in the morning zero. Wow. Yeah, good. Yeah, cool. It is approved. That was cool. And you there? Burr. Frozen. Uh, frozen yeah i don't frozen. know i don't know what it is it's not actually zero i don't know what it is in celsius um uh -huh. what is it it's 40 degrees here would be well i can barely think as it is right now uh, it's chilly it's above freezing it's like 10 i think okay yeah, here it's in my studio anyway it's almost i think I think 70 is about 20 and it's yeah. hungry. That's in my studio. Outside, I think it's about 55. Ah, uh, colder than. Yeah. Oh, it's so not too bad. Not too cold. Oh, okay. This has been the weather report. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask me other stuff. <laughs> the worldwide weather report. <laughs> the weather report. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in German. Little, little head thing and... and then we gotta hop over to Dylan's. Hop over to Dylan. Hop, hop, hop. There's enough to hop. Uberstock and Uberstein. Aber Brix dir nicht die Wein. Du bist doch und du bist dein. Pop, pop, pop. That's my favorite. Yeah, you speak good German. Oh, danke. Ich habe viele Üben gemacht. Not really. 
Um, I've been trying. I've been trying more. It comes in waves. Like how... Like everything. Yeah, so many things come in waves. That is so true. Wow. That's neat. Mm. More wisdom on birds together with Stan. <laughs> that is so great. We're always, it's so interesting the things you learn. The things you learn going live every day. It's crazy. It's it's there's wacky stuff to learn. And not all technical, I assume. No, it's mostly not technical. Like that's the easy part. It's like showing up every day, showing up every day at the same time when like you don't like it's not that I'm not used to showing up to other things every day. Like I've I've had jobs, I've had school, I've had classes to teach and things to do. But like, there's like a certain like um, element of publicity. Like, oh, watch, look how bad I'm shaky. Oh, I can't put the cap on the marker. Woo, I did it. Okay, we gotta go to Dylan's live now. Okay. Look how much quail I got done. That's amazing. I can't believe it. Look, Kevin, awesome. look at your little nice quailing. quailing. Very good quailing. Thank going you. On. I can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to tag DJ Parrots Carrots. Don't forget to tag um, Nature um, Photo Studios. That's my friend Kevin Railsback. So tag Kevin. And he takes really cute bird photos and also butterflies and other stuff too. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you so much for the cute quail. I want to draw your. Uh, we also have an American coot to paint from Kevin. So what are that to look forward to? Okay, I'll see you guys over on Dylan's channel. Bye now. Dylan and Sarah. Tusi. Bye, Louise and Maria. Bye bye. Good to know. See you. Bye, Zanny. Bye. Oh, wrong ending. Yay. Do this one. Yay. There.